Hello everyone, in the next video from Total War Attila, Age of Charlemagne and Kingdom of Mercia campaign. Last time we've captured Calatrava, as far as I remember, as well as Toledo before. And now we are besieging Valencia, and looks like Valencia could be attacked. Let me take a look at Garrison. Garrison is weak, wall strength is 87%. So let's wait one more turn before we attack and from Calatrava itself we are going to stay here just for a moment and I think our next target will be Hain, Jain, Hain, Jain. No idea how to pronounce it so I'm very sorry but that's the next tar target for the Swords of Mercy army and after capturing Valencia, St. Alban's champions will march on Cartagena. And the last city, I suppose, is uh, Almeria. Or Almeria. I think it's Almeria. Anyway, uh, event messages then. Mm, nothing interesting except household gained. Unit experience plus two for land unit recruits. And that's a uh, sad bad. Or sad about sad but whatever. That's nice. Hit it hard and it spins for hours. If you miss, you will be a laughing stock for days. Okay. Promising. Mm, and settlement occupied, yeah, that's the old message. Okay. Uh, no money, which means no economic actions required, but we can take a look at diplomacy though. And let's see. Oh our relations with Bohemia are improving. How nice. We have, by the way, non-aggression pact. What about trade oh, agreement? Oh, it's low. Okay, that's fine. Uh, anyone else would like to trade with me? Nordalbingia. Uh, but Nordalbingia is... Okay, we could, but you are at war against... You are at war with Kingdom of the Lombards, Saxon Separatists and Duchy of Alemannia. Okay, with that being checked, let me take a look at our relations. Duchy of Frisia, it's fine. Eastphalia, deteriorating, but it's still under under control. Mm, Kingdom of Asturias, very friendly, that's nice. Kingdom of the Lombards, improving, perfect. And I think that's it. Yep, let's close it. And now we can end turn, I suppose. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. My Lord would have Emirate of Cordoba offers me non-aggression pact. You know what, let's agree on it. So that, that will secure my northern flank, since I don't have any army here. If they decide to declare war on me, uh, that would be that would be quite quite dangerous for my northern flank, because I wouldn't be able to quickly deploy my forces north so let's let's agree on the non-aggression pact actually I don't I don't mind that shouldn't destroy our relations with other factions and whoa that's interesting that was the Westphalian army Republic of Venice offering me non-aggression pact well I will I will agree I don't mind Yeah, let's go back to, to to Duchy of Frisia. That's the army of Westphalia. Duty calls. Who died? Affelbold. Oh no. That was my... The best general. That hurts me. That really hurts me. But it means that we are going to... Assign a new general. And I think we'll go for king. We could go for anyone else, but if I select king, I should get on influence way quicker. So let's select king. Age 75, rank 10. Wow, he was such a such a great leader. That really hurts me. But still we can we can recruit so experienced units. Holy shit. Or cer certainly we need to go for all those onagers. At least two. They are quite useful. Not gonna lie. Okay, so King is now commanding the, the swooping tribe. eagles. Uh, there's some Ready for some upgrade for him. So let's do it. And let's also go to to skills 
politician, personal influence plus two. Oh yeah, absolutely. And also a 40 for now. Okay, perfection. Almost 10,000 in my in my treasury. Mm, let's go down south then. What options available here? Certainly a couple of options. What's that? Tribunal. Oh, we could decrease uh, corruption level. Why not? But in Toledo, no Toledo, uh, Calatrava. In Calatrava we can build gold veins. Oh yes, that's what I need. And also I need hospice quickly in, in Toledo. That will increase sanitation, plus four. So we will reduce uh, squalor in Toledo, and I think we can we can easily build gold veins in Calatrava, and we will get 400, and that's the first level, 800 in total. Wow, having gold is huge. I wouldn't mind actually to go for copper mine as well, uh, because that's that that adds a lot, a lot of money, really. Okay, uh, let's for. Do we want to focus on economy first? Let's let's go. Yeah, let's go through economy first because that's the the boring part. Uh, we could build salt trader. I don't. I don't think I really need it at that point. Uh, iron mine as not really. Mm, I'm pretty sure in Amiens there's a cloth maker. Okay, it's building. Okay, fine. Uh, what else? Maybe something not in Rams but in Paris. Uh, in Paris we have s empty slot, but nothing interesting for that empty slot, unfortunately. What about Aachen? In Aachen we have hospice, we have siege engineer. Mm, what's the sanitation level in Trier? Four. We could go for deep copper mine, but that will make sanitation level minus two. So maybe it's it's. Yeah, I would wait a little. Technically, I wouldn't mind to finally research uh, church care, but I can also go for professional soldiers, which will decrease my upkeep cost. That was the main goal, so let's go for that technology, and after that we are switching to to civic technologies uh, again, so we can we can finally build that that hospice of tier two. But we can we can uh, empty slot in in Rennes. Oh, here is church hospital. How nice. Okay, there's empty slot worth noting. In Winchester, we could go, for example, for Palace. Actually, we don't really need it, fortunately. Winchester is slightly undeveloped, I feel like. I wouldn't mind actually to build something something better here. Okay, either way, let's go to Mercia. What's the sanitation? Two. Okay, so we cannot go for goldsmith, fortunately. Mm, we could though build those grand manors, but let's go to Matrafal first, tribunal. We could decrease corruption. Yeah, that's that's the option. Why not? Here we could go for master goldsmith. Uh, what's the sanitation though? Zero. Okay, so not really, fortunately. In Bamburg, uh, we were in Bamburg though. Uh, in rainy, uh, it's a minus two, not great. Okay, so probably nothing we can build here. Greenan of Eilech. Why there is such a problem with with uh, with sanitation? It's really a huge problem here. I could try to fix it by simply switching to to Minster, but uh, that would hurt my my my. Wealth from commerce. There is also Cashel. Maybe I just shouldn't care much about Ireland. Very sorry for for all Irishmen, Ir Irish w women as well. But looks like I I don't see much much profits of of that. What in Val Valladolid? There's empty slots. Okay. Well, 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 well. What to do? Maybe let's go for that tribunal. It's 4,000, yeah, let's build it, and I think that's it, let's accumulate some money. And now let's uh, finally fight for Valencia, wall strength is 
mm, we can give them a battle that should be pretty pretty straightforward yeah we can scout the rain though that should be easy quite boring but but easy one onager five archers do i have empty empty unit slot probably oh rain no 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 you want uh, beautiful weather yeah try that's the perfect perfect iberian weather i mean not for me because i'm not a huge fan of uh, uh, iberian weather i'm more northern guy so i prefer cold snow winter and such stuff uh, okay so that approach looks good to me because walls are broken uh, watchtowers are also destroyed nicely so we will we will uh, set up over over here of course we are going to start with I would love to start with archers but I cannot because of the terrain oh god oh dear god okay you know what uh, let's uh, let's switch tactics so we will make Mm, three lines in front something like that and two lines uh, behind mm -hmm. that's the that's the new idea so archers will march first behind them as always my spearmen uh, you guys can drop equipment we, we don't we don't really need it royal things behind uh, general as the last unit on uh, we will place on some somewhere here should be fine actually maybe even here mm, and let's grab my cavalry cavalry will just protect on if if needed that's the plan all units deployed let's start let's start the battle we select on uh, and on you can hit wall over here first mm. The reinforcements. You know what? Let's grab my cavalry. Send it over here. Now let's grab my archers. And let's send them uh, forward. If they decide to, to land here, I think they will. I will I will just send cavalry to deal, deal with them. Hello skirmishers. Will be out of their range, which is perfect. Okay, wall destroyed. Let's find a new target, so maybe wall to the to the right. So we'll make a nice gap here so we can send our troops. Where's cavalry? Mm -hmm. Cavalry quickly over here. Let's go. Let's try to attack those archers. They are weak as shit, so... Are we firing? I don't see we are firing. We can get even closer then. What about my cavalry? Okay. Charge. Uh, charge. Charge. Jesus. Uh, I suppose, yeah, my archers are <laughs> firing at them. Sure. Sure thing. You guys, uh, stop firing. Stop firing. Don't, don't hit your own troops. Okay, Onager destroyed one more wall, so select new target. Okay, cavalry caught those archers. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone is dead. And now, gentlemen, start firing again. Okay, perfect. Superb job. Cavalry, let's form here. Awesome. Now let my uh, my archers do the the dirt job. Okay, another wall destroyed. So let's target a new one. That bend over here. That should be pretty smooth. Is everyone firing? Yes, sir. Everyone is firing. Is your vision obs obstructed? It's not. Obstructed or obscured? Okay, very nice. You're dying slowly but steadily. 
Come on, send those skirmishers on, on, on the walls. Which appreciate it. Okay, one more unit over here. Perfect. Almost no ammunition. Let's observe it. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, wall almost destroyed. We have still one, one more volley, maybe two. No ammunition. So it looks like that's it. That was the last volley. Oh, we've almost managed to destroy it. What a shame. 97% damage. Okay, so let's just fire now. They are protected by walls, but also that position is not much favorable for them. Because they are angled towards us. Mm, we could switch to, to ar different arrows though. Would like to, but I don't know whether it ma makes much much sense. We could use, for example, whistling shot. Mm, causes very little damage, but has a fearsome sound. Yeah, adversely affects the morale. Exactly. But well, that could be the interesting option. Could easily break their morale. Yeah, almost whole army is, is gone at that point. They're all retreating, 22 of them left. Really not a, not a big deal. Uh, so let's move forward my royal fangs. They're going to, to capture the city. Oh, he's sending last skirmishers unit, I suppose? Is general unit dead already? Possibly. Still plenty of ammunition left. Cool, awesome. Whoa, that was brutal. Come on, send those skirmishers. Come on, I know they are here. Let's go. Are they going to show up soon? So annoying if they cannot see them. Where are they? Oh god. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, now they are here. Perfect. Yeah, let's start fire at them. So maybe we won't need to need to send my, my royal fangs. My heroes. See, that's an easy target. It will try to occupy the walls. They should be obliterated easily. Okay. Almost dead. They are still confident though. Surprising. So much blood around. Yeah, so we can either win battle by breaking enemy's will or by simply the, the attrition fighting. In that case, attrition fighting looks like was the best viable option. Mm. But usually, if you are if you are fighting the open field, uh, breaking enemies will should be should be our goal, because the attrition doesn't make much sense while you are fighting the open field. That's wasting your resources. Uh, which is which is not the most effective approach, but if you manage to break enemies well, you are at home. Also, during the history, most of the casualties came from the pursuit of retreating forces, uh, not the mm, not the fighting itself. The fighting itself on the battlefields, like the, the the skirmishes between different units. Why they didn't surrender yet? Okay, let's send my royal fangs. So the fighting, one one v one, fi I mean one one v one fighting the skirmishers, uh, the melee combat or the archers firing didn't didn't cause uh, mm, substantial amount of of casualties. The the bulk amount of ca casualties was uh, inflicted when uh, enemy's line broke mm, and they were uh, retreating and running in fear. That was the the point where the most casualties were were inflicted on enemies, and that's uh, the case for most of the most of the battles, uh, regardless of mm, of uh, time period, whether it was uh, Middle Ages or Napoleonic era, it, it it didn't really matter. It was like break the enemy's line, and then you are you are inflicting the the, the highest amount of casualties at that point, which is quite interesting. I think. Uh, 
John Keegan wrote a book about that. Uh, this is called... Uh, how is it called? Uh, I know the Polish, uh, the, the Polish translation of that, uh, of the title. I just don't remember. It's it's English, English version. Let me let me Google it while my royal fangs are moving. Yeah, I know I could speed up. I just I'm just not doing that. Uh, John Keegan. Mm, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I see the the the, the Polish title now. Thank you, Google, for helping me. Where it is? The face of the battle. The face of battle. Oh, okay. That's how it's called. I think so. This is pr pretty, pretty old book, 1976. But that might be very interesting reading. Honestly, I need to. I need to buy it when I when I finish my my other books. Plenty of them. But that gives uh, interesting perspective. I'm I'm not entirely sure whether he was writing about. Uh, actually, the, the casualties on the battlefield, but I think it, it it is something mentioned about that. Okay, where is enemy enemy general? Don't tell me he's sitting somewhere here. That'd be actually true. And again, we are losing men because of those watchtowers. Okay, he is here. He's there. Sometimes I'm not entirely sure whether I should use here or there. I, I I can differentiate difference, differentiate difference. I can I, I can see the difference between them, but uh, still, s someone I uh, sometimes I'm, s I'm struggling with using proper form. No, oh, come on, stop firing! Oh God, really? Do we have any uh, ability other than shield wall? No, not really. Come on, stop firing! Thank you. Mm, try to go over here. I don't think we'll manage it, but we need to just kill them. Okay, yeah. They are dropping so many men. Almost four, over 50 dead, almost 60. Yeah, so let's spectate, spectate that beautiful, beautiful skirmish. Okay, broken. Battle is over. Let's end it. 41 losses. Perfect. Most of those losses coming from uh, annoying watchtowers. Awesome. Beautiful finisher. Okay. Decisive victory. Of course, we will uh, peacefully occupy. We could liberate Typha of Valencia. We will not do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Valencia is captured. Of course, we need to repair everything. The cost is high. Oh. It looks like we cannot repair anything. Horse show. Fist fighters. Okay, let's uh, dismantle that building. We don't need it. Oh, another cloth maker. Perfect. Also, siege workshop. Interesting. Can we? Oh, we can upgrade our archers. Uh, we'll do it. Of course, I don't have enough money to do. S oh, I have. Perfect. So, even more ammunition now. Yeah, is there any better unit? No, it's still just, just an Onager. I don't know. Is my faction allowed to construct better siege equipment? Maybe not. I have no idea though. Uh, okay, uh, my income dropped because of uh, damaged buildings in Valencia. That's, that's fine. But that also means that I can end, uh, end turn, I suppose. Anyone uh, having problem with uh, loyalty, gentlemen? No? Great to hear that. Lovely. Wow, now everyone loves me. Look at that. 8, 9, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9. Oh. I can, I can hear... I can hear some jets around my area. Probably some, some fighters. Okay. Let's end turn. Uh, what's what is Vestfalia doing? Are they going to attack anybody or? Oh, probably they've lost uh, their territory and now they are they don't know what to do with their army. Interesting. Are they going to attack? Uh, 
Duchy of Frisia? I have no clue. My agent uh, has been exposed twice. Other man. True legend. Household lost, mace. A melee attack plus three for the commander since. No, that's not a big deal. And rank gained. <laughs> oh, my agent. Hello. So let's go to him. Duchy of Alemania. Oh, they have one and a half army. Oh, those armies are so. so shitty. Plenty of skirmishers, though. Uh, but they are all tier 1 units. Okay, since there's promotion for my spy, let's go for black market twice. Well, plus 20% from commercial buildings. Okay. Uh, Kingdom of Carloman. Oh, they suffer attrition. Not enough food, I suppose. What about Westphalia? Wait a second, you have territory. Why you are sitting on, on enemy territory, though? Champions of the Aesir. Do you have war with uh, Duchy of Frisia? Oh yes, you have. You have. Oh, and you sucked Utrecht. You bastards! You know you will die now. Duchy of Frisia will will demolish you. Okay, that's that's cool that they are fighting with each other. Let's go back back south. Uh, we could afford something, I suppose. What about building cathedral to increase public order very quickly? Of course, 6,000. That's a lot, I know. Uh, but, why not? Or we need to repair buildings here. Okay, so let's do it first. Master Cloth Maker, Monastery, uh, Empty Slot, because that's a trade city, so... Of course, Wine Market will, will, will be built here. Perfect. Siege Workshop. I would rather dismantle it. I don't need it, really. Uh, or, unless... Do I have any better option? Let's repair it for now. Less than 2,000 left, so I'm, I will still wait in Valencia, unless... No military presence, 21. Now, if I leave, that's gonna drop to minus 2. Okay, so let's just wait one more turn. What about Calatrava? Military presence 12, so if I leave, that's gonna be minus 10. Okay, we, we also need to wait, unfortunately. But we are building hospice. Mm, royal barracks are also building? Yeah. Also the, the, the gold the gold veins. That should be that should be fine soon. Uh, where do you have your armies, though? Wait a second, I could capture Cartagena now. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Do I want to do it? I could, but no. That's gonna be. It's gonna be so painful to play. No, no. I I will just maintain blockade. Doesn't make sense. Really, I will wait until my uh, Sand Alban's champions will march over here and capture it by by food. But no, I I don't want to use my fleet at all. It's gonna be a. I know I will win it, but I hate using fleet this is so this is boring and and tragic to to watch anyway no money left so we need to end turn unless we can take a look at diplomacy mm. i don't see anything interesting just just scroll through it okay let's yeah let's end turn almost 30 minutes so we will end soon uh, so I can I can record a few more episodes in advance. Look at that! Republic of Venice is becoming so strong. They've captured Pisa, and they are going down south to to theme of Sicily. Natural causes, Vitun. Oh no! Uh, but that was actually my uh, governor. Noble birth. Plenty of information. War declared. Duchy of Bavaria and Nordalbingia. Faction emerges Angria. Faction encountered Duchy of Benevento. Oh, hello Benevento. Agent exposed. Foreign trespassers. Yeah, I know. Mm, household lost navigator. Republic of Venice, Nordalbingia as well. Interesting. And let's take a look at that. You see, Republic of Venice captured Pisa here. This is huge. Uh, and now they are also marching down south. Where uh, here they they were here. They've they, they've been attacking Croton, I think. 
That's that's their fleet. The Almighty Oars. Nice. And that's uh, Duchy of Benevento. Hello. Well, th there is a lot of going on on um, Apennine Peninsula. Okay. Oh my goodness, Bo Bohemia is uh, is besieging Pavia. And that's the that's the capital of Kingdom of the Lombards. Genev is lost already to Bohemia. Oh my goodness, they they've been starting somewhere here. Uh here actually, I suppose. No. Here are the mountains. So probably somewhere here, I guess. I, I cannot see the map though, but I I suppose they they've started somewhere here that region and they have provinces over over here holy shit Lombard separatists what are you doing here this is crazy Bohemia is fighting with who Lombards and uh, Bavaria okay oh Duchy of Benevento would you like to train with Welcome, me but expect yeah you would, you would perfect awesome and also Angria Angria is here okay Wow, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, Duchy of Frisia lost uh, their territory. Yeah, Utrecht, Utrecht is captured by Westphalia. Oh my god, this... Yeah, we need 4th Army. We need to react. Uh, we need to either attack Westphalia or Duchy of Frisia. But I think we'll focus on Westphalia first. Do we have any ally, uh, allies? Westphalia? Where are you? No. Okay, perfect. So, with that being said, let's start uh, recruiting the the new army. Mm, let's go to Wales, un unless we want to go to Quimper. We could go to Quimper. Any other bonuses here? If I recruit units, mm, not really. So we can we can go to Quimper. And we will recruit army over here. I would like to have blacksmith though, uh, but if we don't have, that's that's fine. Uh, why you cannot? Okay, do I need to do it like like that. Okay, I can. So first of all, let's uh, let's disband those horsemen, or actually, just for the safety matter, let's stick to that army for now. Uh, and let's uh, go to Quimper. Or actually, Saint Malo is. W we, we can just station in Saint Malo. This is not a big, big problem. Uh, we can go for siege workshop over here. Four turns. Let's go for it. Yeah. Uh, why not? Perfect. Uh, oh, there's sanitation. Nice. We could go for goldsmith workshop as well. So if I, r yeah, let let's go for it. Since I remember it, uh, let's do it now. Uh, and that's that's really that's really good. So we'll form the fourth army over here. We have to do it quite quite quickly, and we will try to protect the Duchy of Frisia. So we'll declare war on Westphalia. And how many how many regions do you have Westphalia? Only two, which is Osnabrück at that point and Utrecht. Okay, that should be that should be doable. Now let's go to Iberian Peninsula and our Iberian, Iberian campaign. We are like Napoleon now. Mm, okay, the public order is not really improving in Calatrava. Food shortage. How the f how the hell there is a food shortage? Mm hmm. This is not good. Minus twenty three. Oh, province events. What kind of events? Do we know anything about that? Huh. We need farms here. What about destroying garrison encampment? We may need to do it. Yep. We need farms. We need to, we need food production. Absolutely. Uh, we could also do it in Toledo, but I don't have a free slot. I would need to destroy barracks. What if I uh, exempt you from taxes? It doesn't hurt my income, but it's plus 12 now. 
Military presence. Okay, that would that would that would make it. Mm, okay, so let's now let's now keep no no taxation in that province. We'll switch back to 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 it when the time comes. But let's grab army from Valencia to send Alban's champions and let's march on Cartagena. In Valencia it's still plus five. This is perfect. In the next turn we will be able to to attack uh, Cartagena. Perfect. Oh, and we will get wine as a resource again. Nice. And uh, we will be left. Uh, Duchy of Provence will be left with Almeria and Jaén or Jean. I would prefer to call it Jean, but this is not Jean, that's for sure. Mm, okay, and I think that's it for that turn and as well for the whole episode. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you in the next one, where we will continue our conquer of Duchy of Provence and we will start forming the 4th army uh, in the Brittany, in Quimper, or in San, actually in Saint-Malo. So, once again, thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.